Good morning everyone. Welcome to our morning inspiration. Thursday, May 23, 2024. I hope you are doing well this morning and I hope that you had a good night's rest. And as you go through today, I pray that the Holy Spirit will guide you. May the Lord pour out his blessings upon you today and may he keep you. And as he, you go out on the road today, I pray that he will guide your footsteps. Our reading today comes to us from 2 Chronicles chapter 7, reading verse 14. And it says, If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land. And I say, Amen. We give God thanks this morning for his word of reminder. And we don't need a clearer assurance than this. The message is clear to us here. That if we are humble, that if we humble ourselves, and if we pray and seek God's face, he said that what? If we turn from our wicked ways, then he will hear from heaven and he will forgive our sins and heal our land. So there's a whole lot of things that is being said right here. What are, what, what are the things that we need to do? So if we want God to heal our land, and if we want to get forgiveness of our sins, there are a couple of things that we need to do. Now, what are those things that we need to do according to the reading? It says that we are to what? Humble ourselves. Some of us, we are too proud. We need to humble ourselves. Humility needs to be the order of the day. And we need to do what? Pray. We need to earnestly seek God in prayer. Ask him for help. Tell him what is happening. Tell him what you need. And tell him what you need right now. And what? We need to do what? Seek his face. Whose face? God face. So in other words, we need to have a relationship with him. And in order for us to have a relationship with him, we have to seek after him. And then the final thing, we must what? Turn from our wicked ways. And I know many of us will say that, but I am not wicked or I am not doing things like all oh, other people out there doing things. But I tell you this, anything that you and I do, if it is not something good, it basically fall under the banner of wickedness. So it therefore mean that if we are practicing wrong and if we are doing wrong, we are what? Wicked. Or we are practicing wickedness. And so God is saying to us that we can receive healing. Our land need healing. Look at all the crimes. That are happening look at how corrupt the leaders of the world are look at how miserable and unhappy human lives have become look at how i the the state of immorality has become look at our children how they are suffering look at our families how they are being broken down the family the family structure is being destroyed so many things are happening and a uh, these things are happening because we refuse to do what? Turn from our wicked ways and we refuse to seek God's face and pray. Remember the children of Israel in Egypt? What if they had refused to follow the instruction of Moses give, given to him by God? When they were told that they should place the blood over the, the doorposts so that the destructive angel that would have passed that night would not kill anyone in that house. What if they had refused and said they weren't going to do it because they are good to go? Do you think that their lives would have been spared? Of course not. So they had to do what? Humble themselves. They had to do what? Pray, see God's face, and they had to turn from their own desires. And they had to what? Follow the instruction given by God. And when they did that, when they were obedient to the will of God, 
then they received healing and no one in the house died but everyone else someone in their house died so the egyptians family they were affected because none of them followed the instruction that was given and we all know why because they were refusing to follow and to humble themselves before god and so we today when we are going through our trials when we are experiencing all these kind of things we need to get down on our knees and pray that's where our battle is fought on our knees is not fist and thump and kick and box our battle is fight on our knee and so we need to pray for ourselves we need to pray for our families we need to pray for our friends we need to pray for our leaders leaders of your country leaders of the world leaders of the church pray for your employers pray for all of these people because what the truth is that some of these people they are being led outrightly by the devil and unless the constraining power of christ hold them in check they will do a lot more and worse but the good news is that they are not beyond the borders where jesus cannot reach them but in order for him to reach them in order for him to save them they have to what humble themselves because if we cannot be humble then there's no way we will acknowledge that we have a problem there's no way that we will pray or seek god face because we don't believe we have a problem and so that is why it's important for us to humble ourselves and when we humble ourselves it will ignite that change that we need to make and so this morning i encourage someone i pray that as we consider the reading this morning that we will really follow this roadmap so that we can receive the healing that we so desire so that god can protect us from all the things that happen around us so that he can protect our families so that he can heal our land and i pray that we will be encouraged that we serve a god that wants to help us but we have to ask him for help and so may god continue to bless and keep all of us and may we remain faithful in Jesus' name. Amen.